Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Don here. I um, want to tell a, a story here today of, a, of a, a patient like we've all had these patients before. So she came in, she was about a, a 50, 52 year old female, has had plantar fasciitis uh, for about, I don't know, three, three years. She's seen multiple other doctors in town and she brings in, you know, about, I don't know, 30 or 40 pages of papers and <laughs> you know you know how it is when you see someone in that it's like that same person that comes in with a big bag of shoes and I, I was like oh boy it's gonna take me some time with this one and even my staff prepped me they said you know Don <laughs> how are you gonna deal with this and so I, I went in to see this uh, female and I, I just and as far as I was li- listening the first thing I, I do is introduce myself I wonder how she got here and uh, she was referred by one of her doctors. And I asked her, uh, and I, this is how I phrase it, by any chance, did you get a, a chance to see any of my, my resources online? And if they do, uh, my patients, they get this uh, welcome packet. I, I, I send it via email uh, prior to their visit. And if they look at it, a lot of times she would have read my information on plantar fasciitis already. But she didn't. And... When I saw that pile of papers and she had tons of questions, uh, I said, you know, I, I did my initial, I watched her gait analysis. I looked at her x-rays and I say, you know, I'm going to have you watch, you know, and we made the diagnosis, it was plantar fasciitis. And um, I said, you know, I'm going to have you watch this video. And uh, this helps explain everything. It's kind of an introduction before I go into everything. Because I could have gone into my whole patient presentation thing which is the google slides that i pull up but that would have taken me forever because she had a lot of questions and so uh this way i was able to streamline everything i gave her the video it was an on, on a, a samsung notebook uh like pad thing and uh and then she watched that for 10 minutes and then what i did i went and saw another patient and then i when i came back she like I asked she had written down some questions which is good and so she asked me you know do you think shockwave would be good do you think you know I need this or that and and then all I did is I pulled up that one slide within the presentation uh, that had the checklist and the checklist by far is the one I use the most uh, there is a basically it's a it's a checklist of all the treatments I use for uh, treating any diagnosis. And, and I, I say, you know, with this checklist, uh, you know, I can treat about, you know, 99% of my patients. And it has every, every option, including a second opinion. So it, it, does really, it really does have everything. It has surgery. It has everything on there. And, and then from there, I was able to help kind of guide her of what initial treatments we were going to do for her. And so I think she ended up doing uh, like shockwave because she already had orthotics and she wanted to try physical therapy. Or sometimes these people don't want to do anything. They just want information. And then I'll send them away and then they'll come back. Uh, and then afterwards, I was able to send her my plantar fasciitis course, right? That I Basically, it's the same video that she watched with other videos. So it kind of uses her time, not my time. But that was a, a prime use of the video recorded presentation. You might think, you know, I, I can't ever have my patient watch a video. Well, you know, it's one of these that you're, you're looking at them and you know they're going to be a time suck. And uh, you say, well, it's either uh, her, her 10 minutes of life or mine. And, and she, was, she was pleased with it. And there was no problem with it. It was a professionally made video. And I, and I had her watch it. And she did good. So I guess that would be my encouragement. Uh, how do you start this? It's kind of challenging some people. Um, within um, podiatry practice mastery, um, there is the patient presentations. Basically, I, I give out my presentations. You guys can use mine. I think it's better if you tweak them or at least try to make them your own. And I would start with one presentation. Like, what's one thing? And pick the, the most kind of frustrating, uh, difficult one that you deal with. And that, that's what I did. That's why I started it with uh, uh, plantar fasciitis because there's so many types of treatments and it can be overwhelming and people come back so many times and they might not get better. And it made it more objective than subjective in terms of the, the treatments. And that's the one that worked really well for for me. And I've been that's the one I use the most. That one and Achilles tendonitis. And then my pre-surgical discussion. Those are the those are the three that I use the most. But I would recommend trying that. Um, if you go to Podiatry Practice Mastery now, it, it actually I took off the the membership uh, to join, and I put up something else. It's called the Tech List. So this uh, tech list 
is going to be uh, what I'm giving out now. It's basically how I use all the technology and what the different technology things that I use within the practice to make it more efficient and better. So I'd, I'd invite you to download that if you haven't got that yet. Um, if you still need to get to the, 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 the that, that product, the membership product, um, you go up to, I think it's like member login, and then it'll give you the different products that are there. That the Basically the membership site, what are the ones you can log in for. Okay, once again, hope you guys found this helpful, um, and I would really recommend it because I know you all have patients like this that are going to, suck your time and your life from you that you can never get back. Uh, Some people call them the time vampires. Okay, thanks guys.